It's only January of 2024, and already people like Charmaine, Obey Chanoy, Daisy Ridley, as well as Stephen Knight and Kathleen Kennedy have destroyed the upcoming 2026 Star Wars movie, as others like to call it the New Jedi Order film, or simply the Rey Star Wars movie, since it does feature the character as a main side character, to be very specific. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So one thing about Charmaine Chenoy is that we know that this director is very extreme. She is a direct hire of Kathleen Kennedy. She was chosen by Kathleen Kennedy. It is basically the self-insert of. Kathleen when it comes to the creative end of Star Wars, right? We know that she's using her as a director, and given that Charmaine even admitted to really kind of forcing many of our ideas to be driven from writer Stephen Knight into the script of this film, this of course goes to show you that this movie is an ongoing mess. This is exactly why the script is not done yet, regardless of how the strikes came to a close several weeks ago, mind you, and they still can't get this script done because they are adding in many different revisions to exclude any kind of major lines of dialogue for the Skywalkers. So let's get into all of this. Now, one thing about all of this is that we know that Kathleen Kennedy and those over at Lucasfilm are really, you know, stubborn when it comes to listening to the fan backlash, listening to any kind of concerns by the hardcore fans, and to be honest, what hardcore fans are even left that are even watching Disney Star Wars to begin with, I think little to none at this point in time because of what's been going on. However, when it comes down to Daisy Ridley, all right, this is where things begin to pick up, is that with Daisy Ridley heading into damage control and defending her upcoming Rey film, one major development has to do with her stand against the backlash coming from the fandom by delivering the following. What I found to be so disheartening and offensive too was how much backlash Kathy received from fans for the Rey character and her journey with the sequels, and now that we are ready to explore her adventure again, it's apparent that you just have to deal with a loud and biased minority of this community that has always been there from the beginning and the start that will never be happy. There were times where I thought I ruined Star Wars when I just got into the game with my performance, and this has given me another chance to potentially changing my art and my form with acting on this new adventure for Rey Skywalker. I have heard many things about m how my character was a Mary Sue, or just she didn't match up to Luke, and I just never understood any of that and what fans were talking about. I mean, yes, Rey was modeled after Luke in his youth. This was all intentional by Kathy and those over at Lucasfilm. Luke had his story and shine in what fans call Legends, where he builds a Jedi Order, and I think it's rather fitting now that we get the chance for a woman and a female-driven character to rebuild an order with a new set of rules. Believe me, I have gone over some portions of this script with Steven. I don't know everything of what's going on by him. Well, maybe a little, haha. <laughs> But it's brilliant and it's going to be completely something that will reshape the Jedi and the Order. We live in an age where a small minority of fans love to witness failures, and that's just childish and outright irresponsible because it's contagious. It teaches others that may be misguided to think a similar way, and I believe that's the problem with fandom culture these days. Charmaine is going to do things the right way this time that has been long overdue. Far too long I feel women have been shortchanged in this industry and especially within the galaxy far, far away. This is our shot to change all of that and to make things acceptable to all moviegoers, whether they are fans of this franchise or are just getting into it. Both Charmaine and Steven are going to evolve Star Wars and rightfully so. It's just so surreal that I am back. I thought for sure I was done forever, but here I am. Both Kathy and Charmaine felt it would be best to truly and finally disconnect from the Skywalkers and to embrace Rey. This, was, this has a good chance of becoming a trilogy that I believe could live up to the originals by George. Now guys, let me just quickly, you know, stop here for a second before I move on. This just goes to show you how out of touch with reality everyone is over at Lucasfilm, including Ridley. Now look, I get it, Ridley may not be as extreme as those like Charmaine or Kathleen Kennedy, but she's getting there. She is seemingly kind of becoming that 
in order to really fulfill herself as an actress over at Lucasfilm to satisfy the extreme ones like Kathy and Charmaine over at that company. And I think that's why she's becoming a lot more, you know, uh, outspoken and a lot more direct with the fans in a negative way of speaking against fandom culture, which she likes to call it and what Kathleen Kennedy also likes to call it. It's interesting though, that what she is saying is number one, she calls Rey by Rey Skywalker, so that's true. They're doubling down on still calling her that by name in this upcoming movie, which is a disgrace by the way. Since the rewrites and some of the revisions being made right now, we talked about this yesterday, are excluding any kind of relevance to Skywalker dialogue or references. They're getting rid of all of that, let alone any kind of cameos. This is why Adam Driver came forward and said, I am not involved with Star Wars anymore, I got nothing lined up. And I think he's telling the truth. You know, you got actors sometimes within Lucasfilm that, yeah, sure, will lie. Like Ewan McGregor lied for years about his involvement with the Kenobi series slash movie or project at the time. And he ended up coming back. So... But Adam's a different story. Adam usually, like, says what he says right off the bat. He's going to be very honest with people that are questioning something. If he didn't want to tell you guys the truth, he would have just said, Hey, you know, I'm going to not confirm or deny that. But moving onwards, this is where things begin to also heat up. She goes on to conclude, I absolutely believe that we can actually do that. She's talking about making these movies as good as George's. You are also going to have loud, biased opinions that want nothing to do with your story, and that's the type of noise we are just going to have to deal with while we get the story all together for the fans. Charmaine, Charmaine is just as talented as George, and holds so much talent that will be introduced to this ever-evolving universe that I am proud to be a part of. So guys, uh, two big takeaways here. Well, number one, she's comparing these movies, or this movie I should say, that has the potential to becoming movies as a trilogy, like she said. She's comparing Charmaine and the art of this film to George Lucas' Star Wars. Now, I don't know if there's a better example of a shill than that, but this is like ultra shilling out when it comes to Daisy really bowing down to Kathleen Kennedy and Charmaine. She never used to say anything like this when she was being very careful with all the backlash happening with the sequel trilogy and more. She did admit though, that she felt like she was the one that destroyed or wrecked Star Wars with her performance as Rey. And look, it's not always entirely put on the actress. A lot of people have valid reasons to think that Daisy is not a great actress in Star Wars, and I can get that. She has her moments here and there that are both good and bad. But you gotta admit, the dialogue written for the sequels, for Rey specifically, was just god-awful. Especially by Ryan Johnson. So, this is where things begin to pick up further, is that we know that they're gonna keep on doubling down on damage control and defending this movie through and through. And it turns out that it was true that the announcement of the Mando and Grogu film was to divert attention away from the, ne the negativity of this film. That was all driven by Kathleen Kennedy. So overall guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys next time. Yeah.